Welcome to Miami Beach's iconic New World Center, and welcome to Twin Impact 2022. And a sincere welcome to everyone joining us virtually online. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if we could bring down the house music, which is lovely, by the way. Ian Maxson. That's right. That's right. Back, uh, back before this beautiful. Quite a few story. years, indeed. We were there at the what is now H and M store. Uh, <laughs> but it was it was a theater at the time. Yes, you, indeed. You guys weren't just buskers. No, uh, we in front of the H and M. It was an actual. Well, so it, it's great to have you back. Uh, and um, I, I I love the way you opened with. I think that was a, a Bach cello suite. A little bit of Bach and a little bit of everything else. A little bit of Bach. And now tell us about what you mean by a little bit of everything else. Uh, your your music is different than uh, than than most cellists, I'd say. Uh, I, I've been fascinated with all sorts of music since I was a kid. Other than classical, I used to play rock and roll and uh, took interest in different kinds of music, jazz, blues, and uh, eventually I. Uh, started looking for my own sort of uh, my own style. I started writing my own music based on all of the music that I listened to and uh, engaged in. Um, and um, what right now is my sort of my, my thing is I, I look for origins of music, sort of like the g musical genetics. Like we, all of us have, um, you know, Chromosome. Genes and un un musical ancestors. Genetics. Musical what, genetics. What do you mean by musical genetics? Well, all, all music has origins. You know, it comes from somewhere. Uh, before it was notated, before it was written music, it came uh, from, you know, from generation to, passed on from generation to generation. And so it's been done for hundreds, uh, for thousands of years. And all of the music that we hear today had origins at some point, you know, two, three thousand years ago in ancient Egypt, in, uh, in the Middle East, in Northern Africa, and things like that. And those things, all, all, everything we hear today has little pieces uh, of like those uh, DNA from, yeah. from a very long time ago. Well, that's a perfect setup for a panel later this morning about healthcare mm -hmm. breakthrough health and wellness and uh, genetic engineering as well. So we're doing some genetic engineering in music uh, this morning. Um, speaking of origins, you're, you were born in Russia. That's right. You're also an American, so you're Russian-American, proudly. Um, but you also have a little bit of an issue with what's going on right now, and you've been very active uh, in, the, in the movement to support Ukraine and everyone else in Eastern Europe. Tell us a little yeah, bit about that. Just a little bit of an issue. Um, you know, just one of many uh, people who were born in Russia 
uh, who do not support the war in Ukraine, and uh, I believe it's my duty as a uh, as a citizen, as a, as, a, as a global citizen, first of all, and as a musician to do everything possible to bring peace back together to Ukraine and to other places uh, for that matter, but uh, Ukraine being like the most urgent one right now. So as a musician, I can do it in two ways. I believe first and foremost, music is a, um, is a very powerful tool to bring us together, uh, to help us create peace within ourselves to begin with, and then uh, to spread it, um, sort of, uh, to spread it around. I, I strong, I know f firsthand that it's a, uh, it's a very strong force to be able to do that. Well, uh, in terms of spreading it around uh, and connecting with people, so you see some of the some of the work that Ian is doing, and Alana Sandel and Marketing for Wellness are are very supportive of this as well. Alana from our team and our advisory board uh, here at Twin. Uh, but this is a concert uh, I think you did at Navy Pier. In Chicago at Navy Pier. Right, right. It was a huge right. event. Something like 1,800 people. 1,800 people. people. It was uh, sponsored by Lifeway, also our friends. Lifeway Foods a really right. wonderful company. Right. And uh, so they're also sponsoring this tour that I'm doing. It's over 30 cities in North America. I've wow. already done uh, almost 20 on the West Coast and uh, uh, Miami being the first place on the East Coast. Wow. and. Uh, well, I, I'm so inspired by what you're doing and, and love your art as well. I Thank encourage you. you to go to ianmaxson.com. Yeah, and I just set up a new thing this morning. All of I, I've canceled all of the paid downloads on my site. Everything is free, but I put a couple of buttons there that go directly to to charities that I support. And uh, so you can download all of my music for free, but if you feel inclined, p please do press the button, donate five bucks, 10 bucks, wherever you can. Or 5,000 or 5 million. Yeah, if you, yeah. <laughs> you have, think about your audience here, come uh. on. It's, it's not a bunch of cheapskates. So, so Ian, Ian is donating the money that, that we've provided him for this and, and so much more uh, of his time. And I want you to understand, when this is your entire livelihood, you've built your career and your livelihood around it, to be donating that means you're taking your paycheck and handing it to people uh, to help. So uh, this is an extraordinary thing, and you're an extraordinary musician. We'd love to have you play another piece for us. Absolutely. Just wanted to add that you know this is not just about me. This is about uh, freedom, and this is something we all in, you know invest in for our future and for the future of uh, our children. So great. Thanks. thanks. Give us some freedom here, Ian.
Great. Well, here we are uh, talking about impact and transcending. So transcend, what could that mean? That's up to you to de decipher. I can tell you my definition, but uh, uh, I want you to find yours. I'll give you some examples of what we're going to explore today and what we're going to live for the next 30, 40, 50 years, probably most of our expected lifespans, though we have a few people in the room working on that too. <laughs> Transcending from Earth's atmosphere to space in a meaningful way for the first time in history. Transcending from real life, we call it, to virtual worlds, which of course are just another version of real life. Transcending to the point where, as I said last night, we can create lived experiences from whole cloth, which is something we could never have done before. It is as if we can write a novel and live it. We don't know what that means yet. This will require an ascent, a transition. Now, you might be wondering, or not, I don't really care, about this image that we've been carrying around with us for the past year. Uh, it's a beautiful image. This is a, actually a mashup from NASA that we did from NASA images. By the way, a big shout out to NASA. Hi, Dorit. Uh, all images that are owned by NASA are owned by you and available for free for any use because they're paid for by many of you. And so what this is is actually a beautiful image of Mars superimposed upon a beautiful image of the atmosphere of Earth ascending, transcending to space. This does not exist in quote unquote reality. This is a reality we've created. This is illustrative or metaphorical for the world we're entering in space and in virtual worlds. Now those of you who were with us in Twin Global 2019 in Chicago at the Harris Theater, you'll remember this image. This is a sky map from a 17th century Dutch astronomer and cartographer. And while that cartographer and his colleagues did not actually believe there was a, a great big swan in the sky, this was derived from thousands of years of mythical development. And there have been many human beings in history that have imagined that Amun-Ra took his chariot across the sky carrying the sun. There have been many people who've wondered if that is actually what was happening or if that was simply a story that explained something we could not yet explain. I think we, in some ways, have come very far, but yet, how far have we actually come? Today, we just have new ways to understand what's going on and to explain phenomena such as this. As one of my favorite philosophers said, Richard Rorty, truth is what you can get away with saying. Does, do you feel that today? Truth is what you can get away with saying. And so I would like to ask you to think about what does transcend mean to you as we go through the journey of the next two days, and the, that for that matter, the journey of your life. Transcend from what to what? What is it you're seeking to transcend? And this is not like a business plan. This is not like a strategy. No good plan uh, goes unpunished or survives first contact with the enemy, uh, life. So we can only plan so much and hope for what Karl Jaspers called das Ungreifunde, that leap of faith, that extra step. And so there's the question of how to transcend, from what to what. And then also, I think, even more important, the question of when. To me, when is far more important than how. Because when the time is right, when the student is ready, the teacher will arise. All we have to do is think about our experience two years ago when all of a sudden we were all thrust into the internet upon a Zoom screen. That was a when, and it was time to cross the digital Rubicon, and we did. So what does transcend mean to you? And before we proceed, a huge thanks to CareQuest Innovation Partners and Discover for being lead sponsors for us for Twin Impact 2022, uh, for all of our Foresight sponsors. Thank you so much for your time, energy, and resources to help us come together. Our team sponsors, uh, you bring a f your energy, your people, your time, your money to be with us, enable this, and across, of course our program partners who help to build what we've created and are experiencing here today.